So I think when you look at what's about to happen in the economy, we're about to witness the greatest redistribution of value and uh, wealth that we've ever witnessed with artificial intelligence. And so I think for a lot of companies at the moment, they're really grappling with how do you use it to drive growth uh, and value creation versus it being a value destructive opportunity. Um, so within that, it's really critical that organizations, companies and leaders start to embrace the opportunity and drive a path with an offensive strategy to then drive growth. So I think there's three components to this that are really critical to get right. Um, the first is how do you go about driving and creating a really diverse and inclusive culture in the teams that you build. And the reason that's really important is because you want to bring into your organisations sector diversity and really different ways of thinking to solve today's business problems. The second then, you've hired these experienced leaders. You then need to sort of almost get out of their way and find a way for you to provide the context of what you're trying to achieve and enable them to co-create. They can not only think about the solution, they can also drive their own path and effectively reimagine what they're trying to achieve. And then the third part is you've got to really tap into why they're here, the reason for being. And this really requires you to link purpose, individual purpose and motivations with what you're trying to achieve organizationally. If you can get those three things together, you've effectively unlocked hyper productivity within a leadership team. <music> I think it's been commonly documented that over 70% of these transformation programs fail. And I think the reason for that comes out into three key areas. The first is really critical to focus on business outcomes and be very intentional about an offensive strategy versus a defensive strategy. So that gets you into the what. The second is you should always invest in change because what you often find is these aren't technology transformations or algorithms or models. These are effectively people transformations. So if there's one thing you absolutely should be doing is really think about and invest in change. How do you bring about that cultural change in the organization? How do you get other leaders who perhaps don't know data and artificial intelligence to really embrace the opportunity, understand it, see it as an opportunity and get them on that journey? And the third is embedding. It's really critical that you not only improve data literacy skills within the organization, but also business literacy skills within the data teams that you're hiring and building. And the key thing here is to get this right, you need to embed those teams into the business units. They almost go native. So if you're part of marketing and part of sales, and once you've done that, you get not only the best ideas, but you get the way in which they're fully integrated and therefore create value for those business units. <music> So I think for me, the fundamental call out is it effectively creates stakeholder value. Um, so if you're a listed business, that's typically you know, your shareholders. If you're a private business, that's typically you know, you know, your family boards. Um, what I mean by that is it's how do you go about prioritizing innovation and therefore growth over perhaps backward looking reporting, which in itself is useful, but it's a defensive strategy. It doesn't always drive growth for the organization. And what that really requires you to do, it requires you to horizon scan. So it's looking ahead, looking outwardly, bringing the outside in. But it's also ensuring that the board understands how does that create value and how do you bring some of those sort of emerging trends into the organization and drive growth. Critically, with the rate at which commoditization is happening in the market, it's really important you use these skills to understand the competitor landscape because a competitor today that you're perhaps not looking at can easily enter the market. So how do you harness all of these things to drive a growth strategy that in, ensures the organization is externally focused and understand the external market, but able to bring that in, internalize that, translate that, and then drive that as an opportunity.